to one of my loyal subscribers. I am over here at the park on my way home this time. I'm coming in late this time to, uh, to have a little chit chat with you guys because I already got the food and everything in the car, taking it home to get it ready to be delivered. I just wanted to say a few things. I had a few of the ladies was talking with, you know, me and some of the other workers over there about grocery shopping. And they said that they tired of buying off-brand food and they wish they could buy some of the name brand food like everybody else. And I was like, first of all, you ain't got to impress nobody. You the one got to eat that food. You already know what your paycheck look like. You already know how much you got to spend on bills. So why go ahead and try to impress somebody by spending all that money trying to live like the Joneses? You know, you know you ain't about that life. Don't even try to act like that you about that life to mess up your money to, to you know, please somebody. You know, me, myself, like I told them, I shop at Goodwill, Salvation Army, Flea Markets, Yard Sales. I shop all over. Wherever I could go, if I'm going in a regular department store, I'm looking for clearance and sales. That's what I'm looking for first. Clearance and sales. That's it. Okay? But, um, uh, like I said again, if they look on the back of the packaging of when they buy their groceries, pretty much everything is the same. You're just paying for the name. You're paying for the name. Some things may be missing. Some things may not be missing. But, like I said, I'm not a food connoisseur. But uh, you can make anything taste good if you know how to cook. So, um... I guarantee you, half of the best chefs that burnt up some pots and pans in that kitchen learning how to cook. And I bet you they wasn't cooking with all the latest gadgets and things that they got now. You know what I mean? But like I said, if I ever was to become into a lot of money, guess what? I'll still be the same person that I am. I'm the same soup warmed over. Maybe it's just a little bit more spicy. That don't mean I'm going to pay more money, though. <laughs> so, okay, I'm about to go ahead and wrap this up go home and get this food and stuff together for you guys and show y'all guys this pantry haul okay pantry haul for the month of september 2022 as you can see i have plenty of fruits and vegetables this is what my delivery people be asking about fruits and vegetable canned goods because they know it's going to be getting cold soon so without further ado let me begin got a bag of the california uh, green grapes we got some avocados here we got a bag of nectarines, corn on the cob, some cucumbers, some peaches, 10 pound bag of white potatoes. That's different. We got some yams and we got two bags of sweet potatoes. They ain't been giving out sweet potatoes for a while now, which is good. Also, two bottles of the Fruit Patch Orange Juice. We got some... I'm trying to see. We got some coriander. We got some tomatoes. Four cans of the Black Eyed Peas. 
three cans of the chili mal beans. Chili mal beans, red beans, and chili sauce. Uh, plenty of salmon. They can't say they ain't got no meat because salmon is meat. We got some of the honey boy red salmon. Some of the deep sea red salmon. And we have six cans. Back here, we got some applesauce. Diced pears. Three things of peanut butter. Two cans of the Criders white premium chicken and water. A can of Swanson chicken broth soup. Some spelt wrap made with spelt flour. Two things of pancake syrup, rice, and two packs of the spaghetti. Also have a box of the enriched grits. Also, we got um, the hot and spicy ham product, water product. This right here one is shorter than this one, so both of them will be given away, but to different people. So they could cut, if they got children, they could cut it down. They have some sandwiches, which is really nice, and two packs of ground beef. All right, and over here we have a bottle of the 100% apple juice which is good till 2024 we have a huge can of the swiss miss uh hot chocolate with marshmallows it's good by okay september 2023 if you guys can see got so much light okay showing the dates because a lot of things people Always saying she don't show the dates. Is that because if I have so much stuff, it's not that I'm doing it on purpose. Sometimes I tend to forget, you know. But like I said, nothing that I bring home from the pantry is outdated, okay? And we have two boxes of the elbow noodles, two boxes of Jiffy cornbread mix, a box of bowl in a basket, rigatoni noodles. We got some rotini noodles. We got a thing of shake and bake. We got two boxes of green tea, which is good because winter is coming. And this is good to fight off a lot of colds. Um, okay, back here, good by 2023. We have some chicken stock in the box. And you can add you some chicken and some potatoes and make you a good old homemade soup. And we got two boxes of that. And we also got a box of the vegetable stock in the box, which is good by May 2023. You can add to some vegetables or what have you, you know, something good for some winter soup. Or you can use it now, not just for the winter. And we got a bag of the instant mashed potatoes. Uh, I do like using these um, when I make my homemade mashed potatoes. And if it's not enough, I'll sprinkle some of this in there just to whip it up, make it, you know, stretch. Okay. We got three packs of the face mask. Um, this is good, like I said, for the adults, the children going back to school because the flu and COVID. We got so many different variants of the COVID, just, just diseases, period. You need to keep face masks. So these are good to put in your purse or the kids' book bags. And we also got a large bottle of the hand sanitizer with the pump. This concludes everything that we got today in our haul. I know it's a short haul, but I... Didn't go to the next pantry, and our main pantry that we volunteer at is stocking up. So, showed you guys what we got. Okay, so until the next video, God bless, be safe, and stay prayed up. And have a nice day. Bye.